What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing the Michaela by Glamlet collection. If you don't know who Michaela is, she's this famous TikToker. She does makeup. She done one makeup of the year last year, all off like a year on TikTok. So she's really popular. And honestly, as y'all can see by this look, this collection is popping. I'm gonna give you my full review and everything at the end of the video. But for now, let's get into the look. Okay, so first off, let's get into this packaging. Michaela really did the damn thing. I've never seen a palette like this. Like, look at how all the the shimmer and the holographic freaking glitter falls. But anyway, look at this palette. Wow, I feel like it's got the perfect amount of shimmers, the lashes in the collection. I'm only really in love with one of them, but then we have the lip collection. Wow, a three-piece set. Absolutely, her packaging on point. And lastly, the highlighter oh my god all right y'all let's get into this look do this face now you already know we gotta start with some primer because if you ain't priming baby you lying and if you lying we flying you know already know my mom told me that anyway next then we're gonna go ahead and apply the perfect match foundation y'all know i don't play blend it out with this face and body brush from real techniques this thing's huge it's my favorite it's my holy grail look how quickly it blends everything out set everything with a wet beauty blender you know what it is then we're gonna go ahead in with some shape tape concealer and just conceal on those high points you feel me under the eye and while we let the concealer sit i'm gonna go ahead and spoolie my brows with this anastasia brow freeze then we're gonna go ahead and set that in with some setting powder and move back to blending out the concealer i spray my blending brush with a little bit of setting spray just to help it do to some beautiful blending y'all then we set in with two setting powders the translucent one goes in the center of my eye like right underneath my eye and the second one goes on the outer end you know what i'm saying keep it light on the inside but not too crazy looking then we're gonna go ahead and set everything with setting spray that's my favorite setting spray and time to do these brows I'm using Anastasia Brow Pomade to fill them in and P. Louise Base to clean them bad boys up. Yes, girl, look at that focus. She do be doing it. Anyway, next, we're going to go ahead and add the white P. Louise Base to my crease. I usually just apply that into the shape <clears throat> that I'm looking for. You see that little shape going on? She fleeking it out at the end. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Per good job, sis. Then blend that out with a baby beauty blender because you want you know you don't want the the white to be too too compact into one area. Now I'm gonna go ahead in with this shade Simba, this peachy tone, real pretty, and apply that to the whole crease. Mm -hmm. Put in a work work if you will. You know, blend that out. I miss mesmerized. That looks so good. Anyway, we're going in with Iconic, this pink shade next, just to go ahead and deepen that crease, deepen that peachy tone a little bit. And now we're going to go ahead in with Pat 2, this purple shade, and we're just going to pack that on the very outer corner and wing it out. Give this a little bit of wing before we go ahead in and clean up that area with micellar water so that we can get prepared to cut our crease with the white P. Louise base. This is the moment you need that focus, y'all. I'm not playing the kiss real when you're trying to cut your crease. Anyway, moving on, we're going to get into this crease. And I'm just starting with that purple shade pot too again and dabbing that right into the outer corner. Then I'm taking Iconic, that pinky shade again, and I'm just blending out both sides of that purple with the pink. Again, and with that color Simba, the peachy shade, and we're gonna go ahead and blend out the pink with the peachy tone on both sides, boom. Then it's time to finish off with this shade Glow Up. Ooh, Lord, look at the shimmer and everything. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. But anyhow. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do our blush, finish up the rest of the face, contour, all that. Time to go ahead and throw on this highlight. And I wanna tell y'all, I was sleeping on it. Like, 
it's definitely doing what it's got to do. I was a little shook, but you can tell by my face right here. Okay. Anyway, time to go put on some lashes and show y'all the finished look. And that's the freaking look. Wow. Are you kidding me? Like, first off, let's get into this eyeshadow because this eyeshadow palette is pigmented as hell. I really wasn't ready. Even this shimmery shade that's in the center of my eye, like in the inner corner, doesn't even have any like base shade to it. It's really just over white, a, a white base. Like, it looks so good. I don't know if you're not gagging, but my ass is. So yeah, 10 out of 10, recommend the palette and all these pretty divines. This, I've never seen a palette do this. It's so pretty and extra, I love it. So yeah, Michaela on these. The glosses, oh shit. I also have on the gold shimmery lip gloss, Avi, and this, I put it just with a brown lip liner. Child, this, I love this gloss because it's not like gloss you know stucky sticky it's like moisturizing so yeah and also let's stop and pause because i was literally just catching a glance of these lashes wow wow these lashes are really doing it for me i'm gonna go ahead and include like a close-up of the look so that you guys can see what it's giving me you know what i'm saying because it's doing what it's supposed to do like yes these lashes i really do like them and they're just like very not there but very much there not too much not too little good for every look lastly the highlight which i really didn't have too much high expectations for because unfortunately usually products are made for more fair tone people you know if you will but i think this highlight is working well on my darker skin you know it's very much champagne -y. it's very much for everyone what's that word when you say it's good for everyone inclusive the highlight color is very inclusive to all shades you can say you know what i'm saying so like even if i could use it on my fair tone clients and it would still look very good is it the first highlight shade that i would reach for as a dark skinned woman no but first off it's glowy on my chocolatey skin and second of all it doesn't look ashy or anything like that you know so i give it a eight out of ten it's nice i just and um, i wouldn't the color is and everything but like i said it's inclusive to everyone and it's the only highlight that she dropped in the collection so i understand the mindset i think it looks good as usual thank you all so much for watching this video um i hope to catch you in the next one you already know you're the best and have a good one bye